Man, what a crowd. This is always the coolest stop we have over five states. And that's not taken away from anything or anywhere we go. Does it get any cooler than this place right here with the Air Force is meant to this country? Incredible. I want to thank our friends from Cincinnati USA Regional Tourism Network for putting the caravan back together. Can all of you hear me? You okay? Good. All right. Um, because without them, this wouldn't be possible. The Castellini family starting up the caravan again. I remember as a kid and then later in college in Athens, Ohio, when the caravan would come through and then for years and years and years, it just stopped. And now to think we're going north, south, east, and west, all over Red's country, and of course nowhere is a bigger part of Red's country than right here in Dayton, Ohio. It's a, it's a real pleasure, we're grateful to be here, so thank you for having us. Here comes, let's hear a big Dayton move. I'll introduce him while he's here. One of the newest members of the Reds, three-time All-Star. Won a World Series, played in two World Series, and the Reds just brought him in, and we're fired up to have him. Mike Boustakis. <laughs> Young man who's this close to getting in the big leagues. He played right here for the Dayton Dragons while he was working his way up through the minor leagues. Born in the Dominican Republic, grew up in New Jersey. Well, he's got to get back to California, so. He's been with us for the last three days, and the state just been incredible to be around. Believe me, Reds fans are going to be really excited watching this guy play. He is some kind of player and some kind of guy. But back to Narciso Crook. He is this close. Triple A this year, and he's hoping, who knows, maybe he'll get a chance to break in with a bigger league club. Please welcome Narciso Crook. <laughs> Sitting next to him, I mean, does this guy need any introduction? Ew. Reds legend Porky Miller. <laughs> Next to him, been with the organization for 14 years. And like a lot of us, you start off maybe somewhere at lower level and try to work your way up with the dream of becoming one day a, a general manager or president of baseball operations, and now all of a sudden he is this close. Please welcome Sam Grossman. Fellow sitting next to him, many of you already know, born and raised in Cincinnati, grandfather, was a great major league player. His dad, who happens to be sitting next to him, was a great major league player. And he was a great major league player. Played for over 12 years in the big leagues. And now is the manager of his hometown team, the Cincinnati Reds, David Bell. We talk about it frequently on the air during the season, whenever we get a chance to take a shot of him and put him on TV, but I mean, I could, I could think of a handful of guys and really only about five guys off the top of my head. And two of them just happened to spend parts of their career in Cincinnati that should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And one of them is now David Bell's dad. Please welcome Buddy Bell. <laughs> Buddy, that's okay to introduce him to David Bell's dad. We'll pull one up. All right. All right. Sitting uh, a couple down here. I've had a chance to work for three different organizations, all great organizations. From a business operation standpoint, no organization in baseball is run better than the Cincinnati Reds. And the man day to day grinding it out and doing his job every single day is Phil Castellini. <laughs> the fellow next to him, you know him, you see him, and becoming more and more in a bigger part of Reds baseball at Fox Sports Ohio host a pre-game show, hosting this year all the post-game shows from the fan area out there on Fox Sports Ohio, the talented Brian Giesingswall. And last but certainly not least, the gentleman who uh, spearheaded, in a lot of ways, uh, keeping baseball right here in Cincinnati, and now allowing this franchise to go anywhere when he put together the ownership group and bought the team. He is the chief executive officer of the Cincinnati Reds, and more importantly, uh, an incredible member of the greater Cincinnati community for a long, long time, Mr. Bob Castellini. So, my understanding is we're going to take a few questions, right? And 
any of you have any questions for anybody up here? Is there somewhere they're going, by the way? I was not told before we went so we could hear you. Or maybe just raise your hand and I'll repeat the question if you don't mind. If you have a question for anybody up here, we'll take a few of them. Anybody? Bueller? Yes, sir? You got that, right? Sam, you would be the guy just to answer that question. Any more moves in the plans? Yeah, I don't, I don't think Bob would ever let us just say we're done. So um, we're talking to every team we, almost every week, still checking in on free agents and everything. But, you know, I'll say we feel really good about the depth of the pitching, the offense we put together. Our guys can play defense, they can run the bases. And so we don't feel like we're done, but we feel like we, we have a great point that we're at now. So we're going to try to keep, keep adding to this team, too. You know what, before we uh, take another I just want you to know how much we appreciate Dayton's support. We feel like Dayton is greater Cincinnati, and, and, and I think Dayton, and we hope Dayton feels like, like Cincinnati is greater Dayton. You are terrific fans. You really support us. Uh, we're so uh, delighted with the Dragon success up here. And of course, uh, they're extremely important for us, for our team, and our, for our organization years to come. It's a delight to be here, but to be at Wright Pat as well. This is a this is the highlight of our caravan. Thank you very very much. My attention that we have a very special guest sitting right down here in the front row today. And there are fewer and fewer of these guys that we see. But they seem to come to Great American Ballpark a lot, and they're honored in the summertime. But please take a moment to recognize Mr. Edgar Mormon, South Pacific World War II, Ohio 37th, Buckeye Division, 100 years young. We salute you, Edgar Mormon. So nice to have you guys here with us today. Thank you. Thank you for your service, young man. Thank you. God bless you. Question. 